Hello, and welcome to Error Red Unlimited. Today, as promised in our previous episode, we're going to be performing some putter's wheel maintenance. My wheel is a Walker B Willy Wheel EX. Keep in mind that all wheels are a little bit different, but the basic design is similar enough that the process in this video should apply to most wheels out there. Please note that this video is not sponsored and the products I use are of my own personal preference or whatever was most readily available at the time. Without further ado, let's get started. For this project, we're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, a grease gun, some belt conditioner, some oil or liquid lubricant, and some paper towels and or cotton swabs. We're going to start by turning the wheel off and unplugging it. Remove the splash pan so that it doesn't fall off when we tip the wheel over. We're going to tip this over so that we can get to everything. Careful, it's pretty heavy. Now, starting from the wheel head itself, we're going to follow the shaft down and find all the grease fittings, adding grease as we go. I was able to track down some info on what type of grease you use and I found that you just match the color of the existing factory grease. Mine happened to be just general purpose black grease, so that's what I'm using. We're going to take our nozzle and connect it to the fitting. And squeeze the handle several times until we start seeing grease ooze out from the bearing right in here. Going to take some paper towels and some cotton swabs and clean up the excess grease. and repeat the process for any remaining fittings. There's a panel I have to remove to gain access to my second grease fitting. You'll probably have panels and covers you have to remove on your wheel as well. Removing this panel also gets you access to the pulleys and the drive belt. Removing this panel grants access to this fitting here. Now we're going to remove this second panel. Now we have access to the top of our motor and our two pulleys, our large one back here and our smaller one coming out of the motor up here. We're going to take our belt conditioner and spray just a little bit between the belt and the pulleys. Now we're going to rotate the wheel two or three turns. That seems to be sounding quite a bit better already. I'm going to go ahead and spray this again just to make sure. Okay, now we're going to add some oil to the shaft coming out of the motor. 
We're going to use this sparingly. Don't want too much of this stuff getting inside the motor. And we'll turn the wheel a few more times. That is considerably smoother than when we started out. And it's also not making weird noises anymore. Alright, well let's get this thing put back together and see how it sounds. So...